What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about uh, Revit 2025 for MEP design. So we are still on the mechanical design part. So we're in last video, we have learned how to create zone. So just a bit of a review. Zone is a collection of spaces. Okay, so if you create a space, automatically your space will be placed under a default zone. Okay, so for you to be able to have a zone, so make sure you have a space. Okay, so we have learned this last video. So this time, let us uh, create an energy model and then after that, we are going to run a system analysis like heating and cooling calculation. Alright, so but before that, so let us just, let me introduce you to one of the, to another type of browser. So we know that there's already a project browser, right? Wherein you can see all the views, etc., etc. Okay, on our project browser. So this time, so I'm going to introduce you to another browser, which is what we call system browser. System browser, for you to be able to activate that, you just need to press F9. All right, F9, or you can right click and then look for browsers, look for system browser. Okay, so let's click system browser, or I can just press F9. So there you go. So there's my system browser. So I'm going to change the setting here. So I'm going to select the zone. So I want to view the zones that I have created in my project as well as the spaces in my project. So let's select zones. So when you select zones, so you will now be able to see here all the zones that you have created in your project. So like what I have said earlier, the first time you create your space, it will be placed under the default zone. Okay? So now as you create your own zone like this one, so these are the created zones. Okay? It will be removed from the default zone. So the naming conversion I use here is 1 for level 1 and then after that 2 for level 2 zones. Okay? So let us try to explore our system browser using the zones here. Okay? Or vice versa. I mean, uh, let's explore the zone using our system browser. Alright, so let's say for example, because after you create the spaces and zones, so you need to specify the properties of the spaces and zone. Okay, it will not end after you just place your spaces and creating your zone. So you still need to specify what is the property of the spaces and zone. So like, for example, I'm going to select uh, lounge, this one, second floor, south lounge. Okay, so I'm going to open my level 2 zoning. Let me double click that. And then if I click my to south lounge, so it will highlight that particular zone. So these are the zone, right? So if I'm going to select that plus to expand, it will show me all the spaces. So like what I've said, spaces, uh, a zone is a collection of spaces. So let me just zoom into that. So for this particular zone, my south lounge zone, okay, so I have these the spaces. So, as a designer, so you need to specify the properties of the spaces and then the properties of your zone. So, like for example, I'm just going to select one because it will take a millions of hours for me to be able to finish all of this. Okay? So, let me just select 212's lounge, 212 lounge, and then let's look for the properties. Let's click that. And then after that, so you will be able to see some of the property here. You can see the level here, level 2, upper limit is level 2 plenum. I also have information about the electrical lighting here. The ceiling reflectance, wall, floor reflectance, as well as uh, mechanical flow. And I also have dimension properties here of that particular space. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to the energy analysis, this one. And then I'm going to specify what is the space type of that particular space. Okay, so I'm going to click that. And then you can see the ellipsis button here. So let me click that button. And then as you can see, it will show, it will show you here the space type settings window. We're in 
there is a default space type that you can use here ready for us to use on our design so like for example this is lounge so i'm going to move the slider down and then look for the settings of lounge okay so if i click this one so there is a setting for that one so this is the setting for that lounge recreation okay i can still modify this one if i want okay but i'm not going to modify it so i'll just select that type for this particular space and then i'll just select okay so that my calculation will going to be accurate okay of course that one is occupiable and then you can also specify here the material of the building or that particular space from the construction type you can click that button here so by default i have two construction types so i have building and then i also have construction one so these two construction type have its own analysis properties for the roof material exterior walls material uh, underground ceiling etc etc okay same with this one so it has a it has its own <coughs> its own property of course i can still change that if i want so these are the properties for that for the roof and then let's say for the ceiling i can click the drop down here and then i can see here different settings of my uh, ceiling just to make my calculation accurate so if you have your own construction type you want to create you can select your new and then after that just change the analysis properties of these categories okay so that's for your construction type so another thing that you can do is you can specify the people property of that particular space so if you click the edit here so you'll be able to see here the occupancy so you can follow the space type that you have selected which is the lounge recreation but you can also change that type to by specified if you want to specify your the number of people based on your computation you can type here or based on your computation you can type the area per person value here same with the heat gain okay so you can specify there if you have a computation for sensible heat gain and latent heat gain all right so another thing that you can do is you can specify the electrical loads of that particular space so many things you need to do when you are designing an hvac system in your project so electrical loads so again you can modify this all right so you need to do that in every space that you are going to create on your project so after you specify that in your on the project all the spaces the next thing you need to do is of course you also need to modify the the zone because these are just the space so you also need to specify the zone so you click the zone and then it will show you here the zone property okay so again you can specify the energy analysis parameters here so you have the service type coil bypass cooling information heating information outdoor air information so you can click that and then you can specify here if you have a computation on that particular zone i'm not a designer so i'm not gonna do that okay i'm just showing you how to make your computation accurate okay so after you specify all the energy analysis properties for your spaces and zones okay so the next thing that you can do by the way if you do not know for example where is this north uh, level one north cafeteria so what you do is just right click that and then just select show okay so every time you right click so there's an option here expand wherein it will show you if you select expand it will show you the spaces okay so right click and then you can also delete the the zone and then you can select it or just select show if you don't want uh, if you don't know where is that located that particular zones just right click and then show and then it you will go to that particular view all right so let me just close this one okay so the next thing that we're going to do after 
we have specified the energy analysis properties for the spaces and zones. So I, I want to show you how to create an energy model. So from the Analyze tab, Energy Optimization, so there's this tool that is called Create Energy Model. Okay, so it creates the energy analytical model. So this feature allows you to inspect the energy analytical model so that you can validate it before we run the energy simulation. Okay, so the energy analytical model is based on rooms or spaces, which is what we have. Uh, conceptual masses, building elements, or both, depending on the analysis mode selected in the energy settings dialog. So let's create an energy model. So you, you only want to do this if you want now to validate your, your project, your model, before you run the heating and cooling load analysis or the, or the energy simulation. So let's click this. Okay, so you are about to create the energy analytical model. This, mis uh, this may take considerable time during which Revit will not be accessible. What do you want to do? I want to create, okay? So let's click this and let's just wait. It should create a separate view for our project. There you go. There you go. So that's now our analytical model. So that's now our energy model as you can see if you are going to modify the property of the spaces or the property of your uh, zone so you have an option to delete the current energy model because this will not update if you modify your spaces properties and zone properties okay so if you want to update your analytical model so you need to delete that first okay or your energy model but i'm not going to modify it so so this is how it looks like okay now from the system browser instead of zones just click that one and then let's go to the analytical systems so you will not be able to see this okay so i now have my model here okay so right now it's all and most of it is unconditioned and unassigned okay so if you click here as you can see it highlights in your model right and then of course every time you click your uh, analytical space here it highlights here okay so that's the property of your analytical space okay if you do not create your energy model, your analytical space here, it this one will become blank. Okay? So you can also right click here and then you can select show, select, move to, and then you can also check the property. Okay? Which is this one here. <clears throat> right, so after you create your energy model the next thing that you need to do is or the next thing that you can do is to run the system analysis which takes a lot of time if your project is big so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the default the default reports that i have here so i'm going to delete all of this okay so i don't have a report so let's say i don't have report and I want to run the heating and cooling load analysis. So what you do is from the energy optimization. So there's an option here, systems analysis. Okay. It performs a systems analysis and generates a report for whole building energy simulation and analysis. So let's create this one. <clears throat> okay. And then I'll be using HVAC systems loads and sizing okay so i'm going to change the settings the reports folder path i want to change that to uh, my exercise folder okay here that's the report 
notes folder path and then I'll select OK and then after that that's it just run the analysis okay so systems analysis is calculating in the background so you see this button here so that's a background processes if you click that it will show you that it's running an HVAC system loads and sizing okay so I already ran this one so I'm going to show you how it looks like okay so I have another video already prepared or Revit already prepared which is this one here okay so I have that analysis report which is located here so that is what will happen so after this one finish okay so when this one is finished so this is how it looks like this one so it will create a reports here that one analysis reports analysis report okay just double click that and then you, sh you will not be able to see it okay so I now have my zone load summary okay so you can click this and then you can select here different types of spaces okay so these are the different spaces that we have so that is for the cooling and then this is for heating okay so these are the zones so like for example uh three instruction one one five okay So basically, that's how you explore your analyze your energy optimization. So in this video, we have learned how to how to use our system browser, which is this one system browser F9 or just right click browsers and then system browser and also we have learned how to create an energy model and then run the systems analysis. Alright, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.